So if you guys recall, Capcom has already confirmed to be working on Resident Evil 9. Now, when this announcement first came out, a lot of people were upset and a lot of people said that it was common sense that Capcom was working on the next game. But I don't think a lot of people realize just how important this is. You see, this guy right here is the same guy that directed Resident Evil 7. Whether you liked RE7 or not, there is no doubt that that game is a true horror game. It's also a true Resident Evil game. As much as people like to deny it, Resident Evil 7 is a Resident Evil game. And I don't know if you guys agree with me on this, but as much as I loved Resident Evil Village, it just wasn't all that scary, at least in comparison to RE7. Yeah, yeah, I know, House Beneviento with the big scary baby, oh, it was so scary. But the rest of the game really wasn't all that scary. Village just didn't have that same atmosphere that 7 had. And I feel like that's what's missing from the Resident Evil franchise. We need to go back to that horror atmosphere that Resident Evil 7 set for the series. But the one thing that we all want to know the answer to right now is when are we actually getting the reveal trailer? Well, you see, a lot of us expected the game to get announced back in June because usually Resident Evil games get announced at PlayStation events and normally these events are held in June. But it looks like Capcom skipped out this year because we haven't gotten a reveal yet. And as it turns out, Dusk Golem was right. A lot of people clowned on him. They were saying that he was misleading people and he was coming up with lies. But it looks like Dusk Golem was correct and the fact that RE9 has been delayed. But before you guys get upset that the game may have potentially been delayed, don't lose hope because I feel like Resident Evil 9 still has a chance to release next year. And here's why. So we recently just got a brand new leak, not a Resident Evil leak, but a leak related to Resident Evil. We got another state of play leak. A few people have reported on this, but one of the main guys that reported on this rumor was Jeff Grubb. This guy was right about the last state to play and he's been right about a bunch of other things in the gaming industry so he holds quite a bit of credibility here but he's claiming that sometime in the next two weeks we are getting a playstation state of play this video is being posted on sunday september 8th so sometime in the next two weeks we should see a state of play according to this rumor now you might be asking okay what does this have anything to do with resident evil 9 rapid crafter this doesn't confirm anything you're just speculating let's not forget that tokyo game show is also happening this month. Mark your calendars for September 26th because that is when Capcom will be at Tokyo Game Show. And if you go to their website, of course, we don't see anything Resident Evil related, but it seems like they're showing off a bunch of games. If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen, but I also heard rumors and I swear I'm not making this up. Capcom is supposedly hosting a world premiere for a brand new game at Tokyo Game Show. So assuming that all of this is true, again, it's not confirmed. These are all just rumors, but assuming that this is all true, here's my first big theory. I feel like Capcom is going to reveal Resident Evil 9 at the PlayStation State of Play this month, and then at Tokyo Game Show, which only happens about six days after this rumored State of Play, they're going to show either another trailer or they're going to show off more of Resident Evil 9. The only other time I can really see Resident Evil 9 getting announced is at maybe a Resident Evil showcase, but I feel like Capcom announcing that would just give it away. The whole point of these Resident Evil reveals is to be surprised, and I think everybody knows at this point that they always get announced at a PlayStation event. So if you ask me, now would be the perfect time to reveal the game. In addition though, I want to give some more theories that I have on the game itself. Theory number one, I think Ada Wong will make an appearance. Let's not forget that Ada Wong was supposed to appear in Resident Evil Village. The scene where Ethan Winters gets captured by all of the Lords, that was supposed to be the point where Ada Wong swings in and saves Ethan. But I guess she didn't fit into the story, so they cut her out. And considering that there was a lot of cut content from Resident Evil Village, I feel like Capcom is going to take that cut content and they're going to put that into RE9. So with rumors of Leon being in Resident Evil 9, it just makes sense that Ada Wong might show up. Theory number two, Jill will be the main protagonist, or at least a main protagonist. The last time that we saw Jill Valentine in canon timeline-wise was the Death Island CG movie. And because Capcom has expressed how much they love Jill Valentine, I could see her being in the next game. Theory number three, RE9 will be a Chris and Jill team up game. And if Chris is going to infiltrate the BSAA, then there's no other person he should do it with except Jill Valentine. Resident 
Resident Evil 9 could be a dynamic duo game. Have Chris and Jill team up and infiltrate the BSAA headquarters. This would be a really fun way for Capcom to explore the BSAA a little bit more. And in RE9, we could see the complete downfall of the BSAA forever. Theory number four. RE9 will take place on an island, which will eventually lead into a Code Veronica remake. So this is probably one of my craziest theories, so hear me out. Okay, so according to the leaks that we've talked about in the past, Resident Evil 9 will take place in Southeast Asia. According to the leaks, that's not confirmed, but even Des Golem said this. He said that RE9, at one point at least, did take place in Southeast Asia. And then you have Code Veronica, and one of the main locations in that game is Rockford Island. Hmm, where does Rockford Island take place? It takes place in the Southern Ocean. So if RE9 is taking place on an island and Code Veronica takes place on an island, then Capcom could reuse assets from RE9 to make a Code Veronica remake because it would help them speed up development time. Capcom is always reusing assets from their past games. RE2 Remake reused assets from RE7. RE3 Remake reused assets from the RE2 Remake. And the RE4 Remake reused assets from RE Village. I feel like after Resident Evil 9 release, releases, I feel like we're getting a Code Veronica remake because they could use all of the assets from RE9 to help speed up the development time for a Code Veronica remake. Theory number five, RE9 will have multiple playable protagonists. Basically, I think that Resident Evil 9 will be a better version of Resident Evil 6. What I mean is instead of having multiple campaigns, RE9 can give us just one campaign, but we play as multiple characters just like we did in the original Resident Evil games. Like for example, in the very first Resident Evil, you have one campaign. Yeah, you have different endings and you know different things here and there, but ideally you have one main campaign but you can play as either Chris or Jill. I feel like RE9 will do something similar, where they're going to give us one big campaign, but we'll be able to play as different characters throughout the story. Theory number six, the game will be open world, but not in the way that you think. So as you guys know, one of the biggest rumors about RE9 is that the game will take place in an open world environment. And that scares a lot of RE fans because people hear the term open world and they're like, no, no, that should not belong in a Resident Evil game. But I don't think Cap Capcom is going full open world. I, I truly don't think we have anything to worry about. Here's my theory. I feel like the reason why Resident Evil 9 has been in development for so long is because they're making the campaign really big, but I don't think the open world is going to be something like, I don't know, a Ubisoft open world where you have side quests and this really big map and giant area that you can explore. I don't think that's going to be the case. I mean, the free roam aspect of the RE4 Remake Village was like honestly amazing even re village kind of had this you kind of had this one big hub area that was all connected i think capcom is going to do something like that for re9 but they're going to make it much bigger than we've ever seen before we also saw the introduction of merchant request in the re4 remake and a lot of fans love that feature myself included i thought that was one of the best additions to re4 so it would only make sense for capcom to bring that back you know bring something similar back maybe they're going to give us another merchant or some other system similar to how the RE4 remake did it. I think they're going to give us merchant request or something similar to that, but I don't think RE9 is going full-blown open world first person. I don't think they're going to do all that. Theory number seven, the game will not be Resident Evil 9. You see, Capcom said in that one clip that they are working on the next Resident Evil game. They never said Resident Evil 9. They never said RE9. Look, this might be a stretch, which is why it's my craziest theory, but what if the next Resident Evil game isn't Resident Resident Evil 9? What if it is a remake? Or hear me out, what if it's Revelations 3? I know you guys might be thinking, uh, nah, nah, that's not happening. The Revelation series is dead. Look, I'm just saying the same guy that directed RE7, who's now directing RE9, let's not forget, he also directed Revelations 1. So I'm just saying, let me ask you this, ladies and gentlemen, how ambitious do you really think RE9 is going to be? Would you want it to be open world? Do you think that Jill should return to the franchise? I genuinely want to know because even though these are my theories, I feel like one of these have to be true. It would be insane if Capcom threw us a curveball and they brought back Ethan Winters or something.
thing. But remember, at the end of the Shadows of Rose DLC, they did confirm that the Winter story is basically done. They might make references to the Winter's family in RE9, but I don't think we're going to see Ethan or Mia or Rose ever again. But one thing that I do want to see is that state of play. I'm hoping these rumors are true, and I'm hoping that we do get that state of play sometime in the next two weeks. But while us patient Resident Evil fans, definitely not sarcasm, uh, wait for Resident Evil 9, then you should definitely check out this video that I made here. I made it about a couple years ago, but I basically analyzed the cut content from Resident Evil Village. There's a lot of interesting things in there, so go check it out and let me know what you guys think.